Good Monday! Today we are unboxing a vintage skillet and it is a Revereware omelet pan! Now I don't own any Revereware. The, the skillets, the fry pans can warp. I know the older ones have thicker copper but they can still warp. Pretty much why I haven't gotten into Revereware plus there's so many pieces and I already have so much cookware. However, they have an omelet pan that has this nice curve to the bottom. And that intrigued me. And this is an 8 inch skillet. It looked like it was in okay shape. So this looked like it could be cleaned up nicely. The handle still had some shine. And I've been looking at it for a while. I hope there aren't too many scratches on the inside or the outside. Oh, oh, I think it looks pretty good. I don't know. There are some scratches. Ooh, let's see. Ooh. The pictures made it look much better. <laughs> let's put this on the floor. You know I like to throw boxes on the floor. Oh, there's, there's some good scratching on here. The handle. Some pretty good scratches. Handle looked much better in the pictures. I'm going to polish this up with Mother's Mag. Mother's Mag is great for aluminum. It will polish stainless steel. You might end up polishing it once a day for like the rest of your life. <laughs> it does sit flat, but the bottom feels like it's bowed. I've got a ruler. The good thing about electric stoves, electric coil stoves, is that if your pan is bowed a little bit, it's probably still going to sit good on an electric coil. Oh, that, there's a big, that is, that is a big bow. I don't know if you can see it. I'd rather it go up than down. And this is why I do not like Revere wear. It's very thin. And it is not balanced. Look at that. If I found one of these new old stock, I'd be tempted. to be continued.
that's not bad. Pretty non-stick. I can't complain about the cooking. I did put a lot of ghee in, I, I admit it. Just gotta take a taste of the yolk. That's yummy. Who doesn't love eggs? I cooked too many eggs. Thanks for watching.